What do you think it was? Like a 13.8 at You think a 13.8? You have no idea what that was. That was a 1064 at 144 miles an hour. Are you ready or what? Good ready, dude. Uh -oh. I haven't slept in like two weeks. Oh boy. So, like I always say, like once once one opens up the door, the other is what the white hatch Josh Stevenson them can do. We're gonna try to get that nine second stock K series pass. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys first pass going up here be Ian Sales EK. He won this car in a $100 raffle from Florida. We're gonna see what we do first pass the car made over 500 horsepower. Very first time ever driving on slicks, guys. All right, we're gonna see what he can do. His first pass ever on slicks. This could go well or it could go very bad. Let's find out right here, guys. Time didn't have two step that much, but his very first pass for Ian going in the fifth gear is going to be a 1222 at 117 miles an hour. Not bad for his first pass ever of the track. All right, you guys, so Josh just pulled up to the track here. We got the Blue EG here ready to go. His last pass, guys, 1007, 150 miles an hour. We're trying to get him into the nines, give him all the power. The track is prepped a bit better than we normally are used to, so should get the six foot down, six foot down alone will be a good pass. So we got Josh here. Carlos's car is getting cooled down. He drove the car here, so we're going to get this thing going, guys. Make a clean pass. We have the track rental from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. We're hoping not to have to use all that time, but we get the whole track to ourselves. So we got him with the radio guys here. We get our own lane to ourselves. It's all prepped for us, so uh, we'll make some passes and see what you can do. So let's get to it. Are you ready or what? I've been ready, dude. Uh-oh. I haven't slept in like two weeks, I think. Oh, boy. I think from the last time that, that he came, you know. Uh, I thought, like I always say, like once, once one opens up the door, the others will follow and we're praying, man. This is right. my, today's the day. Alright, you guys, Josh Stevens' car right here. It's passing, waiting for right here. I know you guys have been looking at it. Let's see what he can do, guys. Shifting three to four there, guys. Josh's first pass gonna be a 1032 at 144 miles an hour. All right, you guys gonna bring a Brett Mullins Type R, 387 wheel horsepower, all stock, stock turbo, everything. Fast pass gonna 12. He's just trying to get in 
getting to the 12s. That's all he's trying to do. Good pass for Brett, it sounds like right there. with a 1285 at 112 miles an hour. I think that's a new personal best, 1286. Not bad at all. All right, you guys are pushing Carlos's car up here. She's cooled down from the trip over to the track. So we're gonna get her ready and make some passes here. You about to hit it, Zinni. Oh, shit. You ready or what? I'm ready, are you ready? All right, you guys, so we've got Carlos's car here up at the lanes right now. Alex is getting ready to make his first pass. Car is cooled down. This will be the very, very first pass. The car is completely untested. 678 wheel horsepower. Stock K24. First pass at Carlos's car right here. We're gonna see what he can do. Stock K24, 678 wheel horsepower. This car is very light. First hit. Front part of the track is a little too grippy, but we're gonna see what he can do. boost issues. I think the vehicle speed since was having issues. 1266, 115 miles an hour. All right, you guys, I'm bringing up Brett and the Type R once again. Last pass. Last pass is a 1298 or 1285. He's going for a faster pass. Got the tire a little bit hotter. He's going to try to modulate the power out of first gear a little bit more and see what he can do on the bottom end here. better launch than last time. Guys, Brett goes on that pass. A 13.04 111. All right, you guys are gonna bring up Josh right here. Last pass, 10.30, 144. See what I'm gonna do on this pass. Turn it on the launch a little bit and turn up the power in the upper gears. Let's go drive a little bit better this pass. We're gonna see what we can do. Josh right here. Josh's car, 658 wheel horsepower, stock K20. Sounding pass out the hole, guys. That is probably the fastest launch I've seen. A 158 to the 60. Follows it up with a 10.04, 147. That is a new personal best. So close. Oh my God. That sounded. That was the fastest that car sounded out of the hole. Damn. Me in here. This is gonna be a second pass ever, guys. Last pass to 12.2, but he rolled through the beams. Let's see what Ian can do here, guys. His car made a 540 horsepower. Stock K24. Alright. Let's see what he can do, guys. That's a good 
Good pass for him right there, guys. He's moving. That's a very good pass for a new driver. What's he got? Going in the fifth gear, he goes a 11.53 at 120 miles an hour. Immediately knocking a second off. Not bad at all for Ian right there. Not bad. He's still on limited power. What's it? He did a 1.56. Yeah, that's what I said, 1.56. That's awesome. Yeah. 115 at the 8, 10 0 147, and it's still got a little bit of juice in there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's fast. That's fast. Let it cool down, it's gonna drop down at 1 o'clock. Like 79 degrees. 79? 79 degrees, a little bit more third and fourth, and it's that boom boom, 99. Uh oh. I don't know. Alright, not bad. Do it one more time, you'll get it. That's freaking. Right now, Dad, go. That's 60 go. foot, though. Yeah. Why can't we have left lane ink or right lane ink? I mean, <laughs> probably can't could. We have right lane prep. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of these. Yeah, I'll, I'll do. I'll do some more changes in. Okay. What's that? 156. Yeah, 156 the eighth. In the 60 foot. 60 foot. Yeah, sorry. No, 156 the eighth. That's the fucking six, fastest six. car. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to edit that out. <laughs> That's on me. Six six in the eighth. Jesus. It's there. Dude, I'm still. Dude, that's that's it. Yeah. Dude, out the whole that car looked oh way God, different than what normal looks amazing. like. It looked crazy. It was so amazing. Uh oh. Just drive it like that. Oh, yeah. Just a little more changes, and then it's done. I thought that was it, dude. It looked like it. <laughs> Bro, out of the hole, I thought it was it, too. Yeah. But that's right. what I'm saying. Like, up top, it seemed like it needed more. Yeah. Like, it, it wasn't all there. I need yeah. to check the logs, because uh, it, it felt like in third. Mm -hmm. I think it broke up a little bit. All right. All right, you guys are going to bring it out to this car again. Or, sorry, Carlos's car again. Still has not made a complete pass. Last time it spun the clutch, what we've done ahead is switch the wheels from a 13 by 10 to a 13 by 9 and then turn the power down a little bit just to see if we can get an A to B pass for some data. The car is having some vehicle speed issues, so hopefully we've alleviated those. Look like at the car is cutting out vehicle speed signal at the uh, middle of first gear, so we're going to try the, we top the two step down really low. And uh, we're going to see what she can do right here, guys. So let's see this first pass. Try to make a pass right here. You just need a full pass A to B. Stock K24, 678 wheel horsepower. The car's also lurching a little bit left. It needs a corner balance. We're going to see if we can make a pass in full. Right here, guys. Let's see what it's about. But a 1064, 145, battling the car all the way down the track. Sounds like vehicle speed issues and the alignment is way out. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, change the ECU. It's cutting out vehicle speed and then uh, battling the car all the way down the track. 164. That puts him on the board though, on the first pass of the car. Still going one, still going 144, pedaling the car down the track. That motherfucker is gonna go fast when it makes a full pass. I have no idea how you just did that. I don't either. <laughs> I, was, I was half throttle to get it to grip, and then right. when I get on, it was just pulling to the left. The clutch is not slipping now. All right. But the car I, sketch. Third, fourth, I never saw 100% throttle. I can download the log. Right. But you know the ET was and everything, right? No. What do you think it was? Like a 13.8 at 100. You think a 13.8? <laughs> you have no idea what that was. That was a 1064 at 144 miles an hour. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. I turned on the boost 6 PSI and it's still like not like Jesus. the clutch is not slipping but it's pulling to the left like extremely right. hard. Right, so it needs a corner balance. It's probably because the car is so light. That, I 50% throttled a little bit third and then fourth is on off, on right. off, on off. You could off. hear it. Like it was just going like this. I was right. like, man, I want to at least get a number. Right. You know? Yeah, no, 1064 at 144 miles an hour. 
I don't know how you just did that. I turned down six PSI through every gear just to try to do a pass and right. I still gotta go down. Jesus. And it still feels really strong, dude. Like, it's just pulling, it's, it's kind of scary. I just I thought, I right. need to at least get, he said, at least do a 10 second pass. So <laughs> I, I was feathered it to get a 10 second pass, Jesus. but it didn't feel like a 10 second pass. You think your alignment's off or you think it's the corner balance? Right. I don't know, man. It, 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 it didn't do that first gear thing now? It did a little bit. It sounded like it did in second. It cut, it cut at one point, for sure. Yeah. I heard it. But it, it was a lot less. What's that? Yeah, it, it was all less. It still cut. It cut once at least for sure. Change the computer and then go from there. All right, we need two boards and some string. Jesus. We got scales of the shop. Bring it back tomorrow. You, you just have to. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to explain, man. Yeah. That was a uh, not even a 50% throttle pass. Right. Not even. Like right. I did it for the split second and third, and then fourth was on and off, on and off, even third, but. I kind of held it in third just to kind of let it take off. Right. Uh, it didn't oh. feel like no 100. I was I was fully ready to see like 11.5 to 12 one. It was like 10.64. It was like it felt maybe like a 11.5, 11.6. Right. That's what it looked like. It didn't look. I was like, oh, he's in. I know. I was like, oh, he's gonna board. And it went 10. I was like, imagine oh. if I can do. That's not power shifting because uh, I don't know. I just like the, the transmission feels kind of weird. Right. Kinda, mm -hmm. Not sticky, but just kind of like not smooth. Right. If it makes sense. Kind of like maybe the, the sliding mechanism is right. kind of chewed up a little bit. But, dude. It, it's, it's ridiculous. I took, uh, let, let's put this in perspective. That was an on and off pass, 50% throttle for a little bit in third, took away 6 PSI, and I could add another 6 PSI to where I had it before. Right. Right. So we're 12 PSI to where I really want to do the full send hit. Right. And already saw 144 mile an hour. Right. Uh, on a baby pass. That's what it... <laughs> on a scared pass, you went at 1064 and 144 miles an hour. Oh Not a good 60 foot. It spun really fucking bad. It cut out. This car is going to go mid 150s, dude. Like, if I can... Yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's, it was really scary. Yeah, there's course. something funky going on for sure. <laughs> We're 12 PSI under, and that wasn't even 100% throttle. The whole freaking pass. Like, at no time I gave it full throttle except the two step. <laughs> Just to get the burnout. Yes. <laughs> In third gear, I left it at 50%, so it was kind of like it was pulling. Who's going to get it full throttle? <laughs> so I gave it 50 oh, yeah, and it's straight now, and then I put fourth, and I, every time I try to give it, it was going like this. Yeah, I was going to say, you could see in here, every time you gave it throttle, it I don't even know how I did 144. <laughs> I could maybe see because the car is light, like 138 or something, but that did not feel like 144. Right. That's crazy. I imagine once like, we can get 10 to 12 PSI thrown at it, 100% full throttle power yeah. shift all the way down. What's up? Right. What do you see? The other day when we changed over to this stuff, right. uh, the axle, that side wasn't moving. Because it had a little ring around the axle. It was like putting pressure against the hub, you know, right. bearing. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't even move. Oh boy. So we cut it off and it worked fine. What I'm thinking is that this side might have it. The spacer? It's got a little rubber yeah. like spacer. Right. So I'm thinking it might have it, and that's why it's wanting to push this way or right. pull this way. Okay, so you're going to take a look at it and see. I'm trying to take a look at it. Oh, they went. The right height on both sides? They were pretty even on both sides. Because if it's like yeah you know if it's like this when i launch or whatever it's gonna kind of yeah. go like, like you know, we need a corner round to the left extremely hard yeah yeah it's almost 1 a.m in the morning so what they've gone ahead and done sorry i didn't document this i've been bouncing around everywhere they actually did make a suspension change so what we found out was the ride height on the driver's side of the car was a bit lower than the passenger side so what we've done is made a quick track side suspension change so they've raised the passenger driver's side up a little bit um, basically where it's up even, so hopefully at a level of the car going down the track. From there we can tell if the car pulls right now, we can actually go half and half between where we said earlier. And then uh, if, it does, if it keeps going left, we can keep going up with it until it levels out. So, made a quick little suspension change. Ready to go now. Hopefully it goes straight down the track. You guys, that last pass was a 1064 at 145 miles an hour. Half throttle going down the track. Alex is basically steering the car with the throttle. If you guys are watching that clip, you see the car every time put on power, the car would shift left. And then he let off and come back center again. And he's power going to hit shift left again. Clutch no longer slipping. Hopefully the car goes straight this next pass. But I think we're about to bring up Josh's car here. We're going another pass. And I think Ian's as well. Let's go ahead and see. We'll bring the white car up here again. I think we have time for maybe one, maybe two more passes out of each car. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. All right, you guys, gonna bring up Josh Stevens' car. Last pass, 104. 
147 miles an hour. This is a stock K-Series, 656 wheel horsepower. Hunting for that nine. Let's see what he can do, guys. Gave it the man burnout. Little John Force action. six foot I see on that car a 159 not the fastest but that's it right there guys top end is there 1003 147 <laughs> a 1003 147 <laughs> oh, 104 followed by a 1003 before that a 1007 what's he gonna do to get that one tenth out oh my god consistency Oh boy, what do you say? What do you think? I put the wrong, I put the bracket tune map oh, back on. <laughs> this is the second time we've come to track with the cars. We've gone like the same times, back to back to back to back. Oh man. Oh, same boy. mile an hour, 10.03 and 10.04. Jesus. Oh, it, it got off a whole fucking, it looked like I got a whole fat. It was 159 to 60, but. 159? Yeah, 159 to 60. Uh, I, did, I didn't even touch it because I didn't even want to. Yeah. We got them in the one yeah. five now. I just didn't even want to. I mostly touched. Second, third, and fourth. It looks completely different than all the other cars. Huh? Like, it literally just goes, it just takes off. Like, it's ridiculous looking. 10 3 147, guys. Oh my god. You see the time already? Uh -uh. 10 3 147. What? 10 3. <laughs> I don't know. No one knows. Bro, we are going 10 0 bracket racing in two weeks. <laughs> you're, you're Dude, it looked fat. It looked way faster. It looked way faster at the exact same time. 10.003 at like 147. 10, 10. 15968, 8, I think. It's like all the exact same. <laughs> it was literally two, two perfect passes, though. Like. Oh, boy. Hey, at least you're getting better every time. It is an improvement every time. Are you in the same spot? You need to run three more times. This one's about to die, so no guys. Mike, what do you mean? It didn't go. Like, look at the lock. Like, it didn't go. Maybe, I don't know. Something. Here you go. Okay, same pass, no good. 156 on that one would have been. That would have been. If he would have did the same 60 foot from the previous pass, <laughs> I tried to shift as fast as I possibly could. That's all I thought about. Yeah, it looked really good. I mean, it looked really good. If you're saying that, so if it wasn't pulling forth, I bet your clutch is starting to slip. What was it, mile per hour? 147. It's down 150. But and I had now it, it's dropping. It's well, dropping. I turned it. I turned it down. I think compared to before, it's second gear, so I can turn I it back up. It. it might spin. But it might give you that extra push once it catches. All right, this guy's gonna bring bread again in the Type R. Last pass, 13 0. Before that, 1285. He just wants anything in the 12. Let's see what he can do right here, guys. Spun really nice off the hole, guys. 227 to the 60 foot, not as fast as. Top end charge of the Type R gets him a probably a 13, 13, 17 at 112 miles an hour. Juan, are you ready? Yeah, this has got to be it. Busted her head all fucked up. Jesus. Apart, taking this car apart, put it back together, taking it apart, put it back together. Just took it real quick to Bolo alignment. Took it to Bolo alignment. Bolo just added some, uh, some uh, ride height to it real quick. Let's see what it does right here.
gonna keep going. That's gonna be it right there. 10, 10, 22 at 149. 10, 22, 149 miles an hour. Jesus. It spins really bad. He has too much power in it. Too much torque on that K24. What was that, 1020 what? 10.22? Uh, 10.22, 10 let me get this slip real quick. It's straighter, but I still was feathering all the way down. But uh, I still gotta keep on turning down. You wanna take a guess what it was? 10.22 at 149 miles an hour <laughs> with the 170, 160 foot. <laughs> Ten two at one forty nine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm turning down the power. All right. Every run, I'm turning down the power. It went straighter. All right. And I still have the. It's still sketchy all looking. Down. All the way down, I have the feather. Like it was. I, I couldn't leave it. Right. The transmission is just like, huh? The clutch is holding right now, but it's just like the transmission is kind of like coming down the return road. It pops out four. Under gear, it stays in, but it pops out and four. Estoy bajando power, power. Ahí por lo menos fue BTV, fue like, pero es que es like if I fed, if I if I try to give it 100% throttle, it was instant. Le va chillando como que le falta peso, Hay que bajarle yeah. más power. Sí, la estoy arrancando wastegate. That was like six, 6 psi in first. It's like 6 psi launching. Jesus. I don't know if it's spun on that one. Or it's spun pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. I got a video. I turned down the RPM and I'm launching on wastegate right now. I'm launching like all motor. I'm not right. retarding like to, to bring, you know, to build boost or nothing. I'm like, right. I think it's the most, it's like two PSI and it builds up to maybe five. Jesus. And I'm trying to bring that down, but it won't go lower right. than that unless I go, I'm going to go lower than RPM. In the RPM. Even the go, I mean, one tenth off that 60 foot's a nine. With a fucking yeah. shitty pass. Well, what? 10 2 what? 10 2 at 149. With the 176? With the 176. I'm just gonna launch it like really low, man. That's what I would like do. Really I think that's low. a secret. Well, the how that torque, that's a secret, those motors. Yeah, that's, I locked that right there at 6,000. <laughs> Alright, you guys are gonna bring up Ian's car again. Little stock K24 hatchback. One in a raffle for $100. It's the raffle car. Ian's third pass up. It's gonna be Ian's first, third pass ever on slicks. See what we can do right here, guys. Stock K24, 540 horsepower. Being good, but had a very bad launch. The car kind of hung out the hole. There goes 1170 at 126 miles an hour, creeping through the beams. All right, you guys, we're gonna bring up Josh Stevens again. Stock K20, last pass, 10.03, 147 miles an hour. It's a big burnout. All right, you guys, here we go right here. his third gear though that's a problem but that was a one of his fastest six foots there guys unfortunately can't find third i don't know if third is still there but it just sounded like you just missed it so hope everything's good and you come back around circle back another pass rolling through the beam 16 31 at 48 miles an hour on it would have been fine I went oh you didn't have the lockout yeah oh. second to fifth oh shit I, I tried to no, uh flat shift it that was a 998 pass i Uh, in, uh, engaged and I went to fit. Exactly. <laughs> what do you want to go? <laughs> hey, you know what we can do? We can, uh, we, we didn't know and go into the right lane. <laughs> <laughs> 149, 60 foot, 97. Game over. What did you do? He didn't put the lockout, so when he went to go third, he went into fit. He made a pass. But lockout. I've been thinking it. You can lock it out to where can you go from second? So you can slam the 
third without going to fifth. It's like a wall. It's like a oh. wall. So you put it on third instead of fifth? I went to fifth. You went to fifth instead of third. Because I tried to know. I flat shifted first to second. Yeah. And it, it, it made, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> it freaking worked. <laughs> it, went in. it went in. Yes. I was like, I was like, dude, this is it. And I was like, I was like, I'm gonna do third. And I was like, I'm gonna do third. It was going. Yeah, I always. That's the first thing I always do. Like even, it happened to me one time, and I almost, uh, I almost lost the race. It was under like qualifying. And ever since then, I always use the lockout just for that, because you can throw as hard as you can to fifth, and it's gonna go to third. You know, it's like a wall. I've been meaning to use it, I never have. I just always forget. I always forget. That's kind of like I have like a checklist in my head. I go through here, whatever, make sure lockout's in first gear. I do third gear burnout, put it back in first. Kind of like let it move, make sure it's in gear. Sometimes it's not all the way in, it'll kind of like pop out. I've got used to that with the PPG. And you got a PPG. Always make sure, like, when you put it back in the first, when you're stopped, slowly start letting go of the clutch, and sometimes it'll, it'll go in. It, like, it's like half. Some people try to launch in the half. So, it, since it doesn't have synchros, it's like, it feels like it goes in, but it's halfway. So, you start letting go of the clutch, and if you keep your hand, it's not all the way in, it'll go over there. And if you try to launch, not all the way in. All right, so you guys are gonna get ready to make one more pass on the white car. I think we got time for two, if whatever. We can try to get a one done right here. Josh did not have his fifth gear lockout on in the car, so unfortunately he shifted in the fifth on the one, on the two, three. Um, so he's gonna make one more pass after that. Bring the white car in. Make another pass to the white car. I'm gonna go from there. So guys, last pass to the white car was a 1022 at 149 miles an hour. That was a 1760 foot. So we're gonna do is start bringing the RPM down on the car. Josh is coming from 159 to a 156 to 100 RPM down on the launch. So we're gonna try to bring it down here. I think this car is on to about 6,000 RPM. So start bringing it down about 55, 5600 to start going from there. K24s make a lot of torque on the bottom, and basically it's almost, when you're in a certain range, it's almost impossible with these cars bog. So we're trying to find the sweet spot with the track. Um, our track is not super duper prepped. It is prepped more than normal, so we're actually able to start biting these 1.5s consistently. Um, but this car, if we can get this car into the 1.6s, we will see a nine second pass alone. Um, it's still going everywhere. There's no traction bar, so the car's a little sketchy on the top end as far as power. But we're gonna go ahead and try to send it this pass and see what she can do, so let's get to it. All right, you guys, we're bringing Alex right here in the white car again. Last pass, 1022, 106, 149 miles an hour. So that feels really strong. Gonna turn the power down on the launch, turn the power down down the track to try to get this thing A to B without going too crazy. Let's see what she can do. All right, you guys, we're gonna see what Alex can do right here in the white hatch. That is a 10.09, a 10.09, a 148. Oh my God, here we go. 10.0 bracket cars on display today. Ooh, ooh, Cam's feeling the threat. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. What's that? Tomorrow is broke, it's done. Tomorrow it's broke, it's done. When the price, boom! <laughs> Jesus. Guys, a 10.09, 148. Damn. Jesus, the race is on. Race is on the nines. Uh, not fast. It was like a 160 something. If that, I don't know what it is. I didn't even look on it. So I just know it's not even going to be close. I watched yours, I know they're going to be 15s. I watched, I didn't even, I that had like a 1718, 100%. Oh boy. What do you think? Ripped a little better, but I can still gotta go down. It's just it's oh, spinning ever. It's been look at it spun third really bad. Third and fourth. You gotta look at the camera, man. It's like oh. it's scary. <laughs> what do you think it was? Around the same. Around the same. It was a 1009 at 148 miles an hour. 10 what? 1009. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, I'm not even power shifting or nothing. Is a... You are the 10 0 bracket tuner. I got the 10 0 map. Oh boy. I think we should just put the 13 by 10s now that it's going kind of straight. Oh boy. I think that's going to do the trick and then lower the launch. Just fucking bring the power down. You want to do 13 by 10s with the slipping clutch? It's just I turned down the power a lot. All right. So if we can get it the hook, I prefer it the hook, and now I don't think it was slipping because I mean I turned it was turned up. All right. Turned up to fucking go a deep night, man. And I'm going down and down. What do you got right now, boost wise? 19 pounds. 19 pounds. The car made 620 at like 30. Yeah, 32. 32. <laughs> so we are way down. We still got 11, 12, 11 psi. Well, at 32, 13. What was the 60? Uh, one six six two, I think. One six six two. Hold on, let me see. I can't see. It's not bad. Dude, it's still spinning in third and fourth. Oh my god. 148.7? What is it? It's a 148. 148. Yeah, but 166. Oh, yeah, 166 60 foot. Yeah, 162. I don't know if we should try the 13 by 10s at this boost, and I'll do it. Because there, I said it. What was it? Six and a quarter? I said I don't even do that, I just fucking switch. Don't change the tires, just change the fucking lanes. The what? Change lanes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the easiest solution without changing the wheel, just change the fucking lane. They don't care. I keep on going down. We're easily over 100, under 150 horsepower down. I was talking about turning it down on a two step or right. uh, in first. But I've been going shoot. down every pass. Yeah. Alright. Keep I going. Like 5,600 in the freaking launch. I, I don't... I'm Go just lower. Not used to, just not used to these cars, like any car launch that low. Yeah. Besides the tight bar on street tires. Jesus. And it still spins like a bitch. I'm going to set the, the tight bar two-step. 2,800. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We got the 10-0 map today. Jeez, man. Just bring it to Dude, 148 mile an hour and 19 right. pounds. Right. You tell me. You're right. And still, it's like, just, you'll see the camera. Dude, right. Obviously, the camera can't capture the the butt sensor got right. activated third and fourth. I was like, I tried to stay on it. I was yeah, kind of so regulated. Like, oh. it's, it's, it's like all There's no over. traction bar or anything. Yeah. It's going to go everywhere. Dude. Josh just said the race is on. He <laughs> goes, the race is on. To the nines now. Right he went from 10 3 to 10 4, 10 3, and then we went from, what was, the, what was it? First pass was 10 6. 10 6, 10 2, 10 0? Oh? Yep. So it's ready. And I, this next pass all I gotta is, do is it. Power shift. I, I, Just power shift the next one. Mira, que esto que le trae por ti, ¿o qué? Porque le sigo bajando en primera y vamos, estamos a 6 libras. Le están metiendo que le pongan a por 10. Si no, mañana venimos otra vez hasta que bote la piedra. Can we put a 13 by 10? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Okay, ahora, ahora, pues no está jalando tanto. Alright, so we're going to switch three. the wheels back to the 13 by 10s from the 13 by 9s. To get a little more 60 foot down, and that 60 foot down will bring the time up alone. So we're going to get that switched out. We're going to switch back over the Joss car in a minute, and then we're going to go from there, guys. 10.09, 148 miles an hour. And keep going from there, guys. Power is really, really down. We'll get it going. One more pass and we'll call it a night. All right, so guys, we're going to be up Josh. Last pass, he hit the he hit fifth gear on accident because he didn't have the lockout turned on, so he's got it turned on right now. Make one more pass. Let the spicy boy burn out again. Stock K20, you guys. 658 wheel horsepower. Hearse pair. I'm getting tired guys, it is 2.30 in the morning. We have rented the track from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. These are our last passes we'll get of the night. So we need to see some magic happen here from Josh. Josh says the race is on after seeing that 10.09 from the white car. If he can get a good 60 foot and go A to B, this will be it right here guys. Let's see what he can do.
Oh, he's lost some on the bottom end. Looks like he might have lost a flywheel or a clutch. Shout out to Clutch Masters for the FX400 for that thing lasted a long time on 13 by 10s. That's what it is. Box good again. Yep, 159. 159? Yeah, 159. Yeah, no, that's for a single disc clutch, you cannot complain. Yeah. <laughs> like so. No super single, no twin disc. That's just like a regular, regular, right. regular clutch. I mean, so not bad. Is she gone? At least it was in the motor. And then, yeah, so. That's probably his fourth gear thing he was probably talking about earlier, too. Yep. So. That's what I told him earlier. I was like, is it a clutch? He's like, I don't know. It was a clutch. <laughs> yeah, so we found out for sure. And he still so. went a 10 3 So Josh will be back soon, unfortunately. He has a twin disc and he has a VVG. He would just wanted to go nines on the stock trans. It's there, man. But yep. It's, it's time for a twin in the PPG. And right. Jump 99, 98, 97, just go to line six right off the bat. Oh boy. Here we go, guys. So, <laughs> Alex, make one more pass in the white car. I'm and gonna try to get in the wrong lane. I mean, the right lane. Oh boy. I mean, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, look at the difference of the, obviously. It's really, right. They're painful. Yeah. Right. The other lane is full on radio prep, guys, so it is full yeah. insane. They might make one pass in the night if we can, but make this one on this twin disc, and hopefully, if it doesn't slip, we should get a good pass out of it. All right, you guys, we're going to bring up Ian for his fourth pass ever. Last pass was 11-7. He had a bad launch out last pass. We're going to see what he can do right here, guys. <laughs> He's got those sick-looking wheels on there. See what he can do right here, guys. Stock K24, 500 horsepower. He's trying to get into the tens this pass. If he can launch it, he can get it. Let's see. Last pass, he creeped through the beams pretty bad. up there in first and second gear misses fifth cruising to a 1206 at 99 miles an hour so they get some pretty bad clutch up that's from that big tire on that car it is not like heavy wheels whatsoever and he's on a single disc clutch so it's made four passes today it's probably scorched by now same thing with josh's car we're gonna bring up carlos's car now when alex driving we're gonna see what he can do guys it is 245 in the morning at tulsa raceway park at our private test session we're going to see what he can do, guys. Let's go ahead and see what's up. Are you ready? Just go ask him. Huh? Ask him. I'm going to go ask him. And there's no reason not to. Worst case, he goes, no. Okay, cool. It's fucking 2.45 it's in the morning. All right, you guys. I'm going to bring Alex back up again in Carlos's hatch. Final pass of the night, 2.50 a.m. in the morning. Josh Stevens' fast pass in the day. 10.03 at 149 miles an hour. Carlos's hatch best pass, 10.22 at 149 miles an hour. Let's see what Alex will do on the hatch. All right, you guys, final pass tonight. We got a hero pass, 13 by 10s on deck. Change the tires out, hopefully it doesn't spin the clutch. We're gonna see right here, guys. We have lost a motor at the top in a third gear. 1093 at 99 miles an hour. And it definitely lost something. That is for sure. That was expensive. That was an expensive pass. Wait, was it drop valve? I don't know. Don't worry, it's coming back on Friday. 
coming back on Friday. Yeah, that was either a drop valve or a rod. We're gonna see real quick. I think it's a rod. There was no oil or no fire or anything. It's probably, it probably looked sound like a valve. It was yeah. idling kind of low too. Uh, yeah. I have more PSA motor on the salvage. Just go get another one real quick and throw it in. Jesus. Oh, she gone, gone. Oh yeah, I yeeted. I think about valve, right? We can look at it later. There's fucking all everywhere. Shut up the breather. Yeah, for the breather. Mm -hmm. That's that yeah. BTB uh, valve adjustment. Oh boy. Oh, <laughs> shit. Damn. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. First one gone. What's that? First one. It had to happen eventually. I mean, it's turned up, man. I mean, it's just all the spinning and stuff. It was right. turned down from the beginning. But right. I need to figure out why third or fourth is like really stitchy. Yeah. It was fucking down the track. I disactivated the butt sensor, but it activated. Oh, jeez. It's like a factory. <laughs> it came back on from the factory. What do you think? It threw a rod or it fucking drop a valve? Something like a valve. Yeah. It didn't shoot out oil or anything crazy or fire. I think it just pushed out of the valve cover. Yeah. The best part about this car... It sounded like a valve. The best part about this car is we can go spend $700, put another motor in it, it's back running again. We got spare parts at the shop, we don't have to spend 700 He's just put another motor back together real quick. Well, once I come back on Friday, I just need Fuck to figure it. out why it's pulling third and fourth all over the place. I can start throwing power back at it and it's not going all over the place in third and fourth. Dude, I'm telling you, mid 150s. Yep. Without a doubt of my mind. Without a doubt. Cool. So guys, that's it for this video. That's all we got. The smoke. What's that? We got the 10 curse, 10 uh, bracket maps. I don't know. I, I might have forgot. I must have forgot at the shop or something. The <laughs> nine second map. <laughs> oh boy. But you guys saw it here. Cars swerving everywhere down the track. Still trapping 148 miles an hour. I went a 10-4, 10-6, going everywhere. I went a 10-0, going everywhere. Quarter oh, throttle, half right? throttle. What's that? One of them did. What? 149, 149. 109, 149. Not 100% throttle. I, I I can even down show you the log, man. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> it's coming. Yeah. So this car is coming up quick. I guess our next few days are going to be spent putting this car back together to get it here on Friday. So we'll follow that journey. Josh Stevens with a 10.03, 147, keeping the curse alive. <laughs> 103, 147, and then 156, 60 foot. They forgot to activate the, the lockout. So it is what it is, guys. I know you guys want to see a nine second pass, but if this isn't proof that it's coming soon, it's coming very soon. That is now two cars in the 10 0 range, three cars in the 10 1 range. This one wasn't even on the list. This one wasn't even on This is a brand new car. And now it's number four. Right. And then that doesn't include JoJo's car, which is almost ready to come back out. We're just doing budget here. We'll get fabrication on his car. And then Trevor Lorenzo's car will come back out soon, too. So be sure to stay tuned for that, guys. We'll keep you updated on this white car as we get back to it. we got to take the motor apart. And I guess we're going to put another motor together. And when we put that motor together, we will make sure that we show you every part inside the motor so the haters can see it in person, what all we're doing. We're really pushing it. I mean, yep. You guys can see it now. That's the first one we fucking torched. Yeah. So it, I, I, it sounded like a valve, so... I, and now it's bound to happen. We're really trying to push it today. Uh, right. The main thing was just uh, hop in, man. It's just right. all over the place. I'll donate my motor if we need to. I'll donate my whole K28 too. Just give me K24 call today. Dude, I, I can lower more the boost if I can just 100% full throttle and it's going straight. Right. It's going to go even faster. Right. Not even less. Right. It's coming, guys. Carlos's car is absolutely flying. 10.09, 149 miles an hour. Josh Stevens' car, 10.03, 147 miles an hour. JoJo's car is coming up right behind him on the stock K-Series S112. Carlos' car has now made it onto the list, the top 10 list, out of nowhere. 
and I think it puts him number four or five on the list. So what we're gonna do, guys, like I said, is Paul wants to put this car back together this week. So we're gonna pull the motor out, take it apart, put all brand new stock parts back together, put it back together, um, and then put it back on the dyno, make sure it's all good. Come back out to the track and send it again. Just sound like a valve, so probably the whole bottom end's gonna have to come out. Honestly, gonna be a brand new motor. We have a whole K24 block at the shop, um, so we can throw that back in and then go from there. So we're gonna do that, guys, get to it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy this content. We'll see you guys in the next one.